Hey everybody, just wanted to give you another update and this will be on the magnetizing chamber. Uh, sorry to disappoint, I changed the plan uh, mainly because I'm running out of time. I start school in the next week and the way I said I was going to design this magnetizing chamber was going to take me quite a long time to do and I've only got a week left so I wanted to get going and this seemed as good a design as any. Uh, tried and true with the copper wire wrappings. So what you see here are three separate electromagnets uh, with smaller inside diameters which all fit inside each other like so. And I was going to run you through a little test here so that you could see it working. I'll just do this one. I'm going to get a stronger power supply here pretty soon. Or just, I'm going to try the one I have, but it's a little bit stronger. So what I'm using right now for the small one is a 15 volt DC and 1500 milliamps. I don't know if you can read that. This camera doesn't want to focus. Anyway, that's what it is. And I've got it set up here so that we can run a little test. screwdriver here. There it goes. So you can see there's a magnetic field. It's not super strong, but right there is where I start feeling it, and then it just snaps. So that's the smallest one. This one has about a thousand turns on it, and it's already getting warm being pulsed should uh, help things stay cool but it's not hot it's just it's definitely getting warm though uh, the center one has about 1500 turns and this outer one has about 3000 turns and I used every bit of the uh, copper wire that I had I've got more on the way I'm probably gonna add more to this one I'll just solder the uh, end piece here and then keep it turning if I have time. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to show you what's going on. I'm going to connect all three of the leads together and have one input, one positive and one negative input. This side, Both sides will be sealed and um, direct all the gas into the center chamber and just flow straight through there. This will all be siliconed and sealed shut. So there'll be an entry point here, exit on the other, opposite side. But that's what I got going so far. The magnetizing chamber. <laughs> the last of the three sections. Um, once this is fully assembled, I will start running gas through and testing it and post results. So that should be in the next, well, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> um, just got to run to school and get some books. But I think I can find time to finish this bad boy, hook everything up, and then uh, testing will begin probably the next day after that. Start running gases and uh, making nanoparticles of the nickel, running hydrogen through there. Sorry, not hydrogen, helium. And uh, yeah, I'll update you when I have some results. All right, take care.